when it came time for interior walls, I was not sure what I wanted to use. I was sure that I did not want to use drywall. I entertained like a smart side. Reluctantly, I was thinking OSB, but I really didn't want to go with that. Or if I could find some deal on some plywood on Marketplace. And then I stumbled across an ad for, I believe it was 20 sheets of particle board for, I believe it was like $160. So, and that was just up in Cottage Grove, real close to here. Went up, got that, and boy, was that van sagging in the back. Rather bumpy ride home, but I got it all home and started to spray both sides. Put at least two coats on one side, and then would sand it with, say, 220, 180 or 220, and then spray it one more time. So it was a nice, smooth finish, so dust wouldn't stick to it. Strip of seven inches on top of that, which is where I had my outlets put. And that's of a really good, high quality. It's like a Baltic birch but with a nice finish on it. Did that around all the outlets, or at the outlet height. And then I did another four by eight sheet going horizontal on top of that, which left me with approximately 14, 15 inches, I believe, up on top to fill in. Some of the pieces I used to fill in were not necessarily the best pieces. There's some small pieces up there, but I figured they're eventually gonna be covered up anyways, and I didn't really care. And again, with my health status, I just needed it up there and needed it done. Along with the horizontal strip where the outlets were, I decided to trim out the entire garage with that same brown Baltic birch-like plywood. And when I say trim out, what I'm meaning is trim out at the same plane as the particle board. So there wouldn't be anything sticking out past it. So anything, any shelves or anything I wanted to put on there, I didn't have to account for the trim. So I could just go right over it. That worked out well for when they wanted to put the garage doors in. And it's not the easiest way to trim something because then your, your cuts have to be a lot closer. Well, they should be, but some of them are, some of them are not. Some of them aren't even completed yet. But the benefit of doing the strip around where the outlets are is if I need to add an outlet, make some changes or to run some low voltage wire or who knows what the case may be. I'm able to just pull that strip off and run the wire through or run the airline through or whatever it is and put that board back on and we're good to go. This is the third video in the series on rebuilding my garage. If you haven't checked out the ones prior, which are the fire and the rebuild, make sure and like and subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.